So, Erin, today I thought, hey, today I'm going to finally buy sh shave gel, and I'm going to drop my prescription, and I'm going to go try to find an umbrella, and it'll be awesome. So, I got in the car and went to Publix and dropped off my prescription, and then I tried to find shave gel, but I couldn't find any in Publix at all. I don't, that was weird. It was weird. But I thought, nah, forget it. I'm going to Target anyway. So... I got into my car and drove to Winter Garden Village, and when I come here, I always park in front of Barnes & Noble, which is over there. And then I just walk over and go, so like Panera's, Barnes & Noble, Panera's over there, PetSmart, Fields, Joanne's there, like Ross and Marshall's. And as far as you can go that way, you eventually, you get to Target. So, I parked, and I got out, and I, I went to Ross, and I went to Marshall's, and no no one had an umbrella. Well, a non-collapsible, adorable kid's umbrella. No one had them. So, I went to Target. Target also did not have an appropriate umbrella. And then I left Target... I bought some birch beer, not the right kind, but I'm going to try it. I went to Barnes & Noble, and, and in Barnes & Noble, we realized I didn't buy shave gel at Target. So I walked the whole way back to Target just to buy shave gel. And still no umbrellas. It's been very frustrating. So I decided, since I went through all of that, this would be my first attempt at vlogging on Basil while I walk around in public. I feel like this can't possibly have gone well, but we're going to find out. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, so now I'm headed home, and I realize I don't, I don't think you've really met my car, Gil, so I thought I would introduce you. So this, this is Gil. Ooh. And most importantly, He has Gilbert and Oz now hanging from his rearview mirror so that he can always have his namesake with him. Okay, I totally thought a dragonfly flew in here and I got a little freaked out because it really scared me earlier today when there was a dragonfly in my bedroom. It flew in front of my face right as I was biting into a piece of taco shell, so my brain thought kind of that I might accidentally be eating dragonflies and it was it freaked me out a little. I was able to successfully catch the dragonfly in a glass globe and release him outside. So it ended well, but now I keep thinking that there's a dragonfly in the car with me and it's freaking me out again. I don't think there actually is. There was one outside the car before I got in, that's probably why I keep thinking that. Anyway. I guess I'm going to drive home now. So, Erin, now we are back in Independence. I should take you on a walk around Independence. Oh man, I'm totally going to do that at some point. People already think I'm weird. Whenever I go for walks, I sing, well, I don't sing, I lip sync and dance, like, somewhat noticeably. So, hey, let's walk around vlogging, right? So I can take you on a walk, I can show you the wildlife, like the freaking ginormous birds that we have, and the alligator that I'm not sure if I'm supposed to report as living in that one pond. I should really look into that. Um, maybe we'll see vultures. Uh, lots and lots of lizards. I think the lizards are freaking adorable. Um, they're everywhere, but they're so cute. And then there's like the less pleasant things, like the, the, the bugs, the love bugs, which are, that is just vile misnomer. It's worse than white chocolate. Um, love bugs, they, there's no love there. No, no. They fly around attached to one another, copulating, and they just 
like are everywhere and swarm and fly up in your face and it's disgusting and that's it's not love that is not love my friend this may give you an idea of how big incest is this by the way because i feel like we yeah it's been a while since we pulled in haven't it but here we are home at last we're home look see here we're home my townhouse is the second one, so it, you can't see it that well from here. You know what? I'll just leave you on. You can walk. You can walk in with me. Okay. So here we go. I'm getting out of jail right now. Yeah. So sidewalk. Here we go. So this is the outside of where I live. Now I'm starting to feel really self-conscious about this again, but I don't think there's anyone outside anyway. Sprinklers are on across the street. They um, have basically built those since I moved in. And here we are. This is where I live. These are our flamingos. Pink flamingo. Mickey the flamingo. Front door, uh, my sandals that migrated with me from my Northumberland porch to this porch. I haven't worn them in years. They just sit on the porch and continue to be disgusting. There's a chance that lizards live in them now, which kind of sounds nice to me.